Hello and welcome to this session on Docker. I'm Raghav and today we are going to see how to install Docker on Mac operating system and as always we will go very basic step by step. So in this session we will first install Docker and we will see how to install Docker and also we will see how to install through Docker toolbox and then we will validate our installation by running some Docker commands and finally we will uninstall or remove Docker from our Mac operating system. So let's get started and before we jump to step number one let us look at some prerequisites. In case you have Mac operating system Yosemite 10.10.3 or above you can directly get Docker and we will see how can we do that but in case you are having any version lesser than that and in case you have Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Lion or newer you can get docker toolbox and we will also see how can we install docker through docker toolbox so let's jump to step number one which is install docker let us go to our browser and here i will say docker and let me go to this docker website and here we have this get docker and i will say get docker for mac so we have got this page and here if you scroll down they have given some architecture for docker on mac and finally we have this download now from docker store let us click here and here you can see we have this prerequisites it requires apple mac os yosemite 10.10.3 or above and we can download docker by hitting this get docker let us go here and you can see docker is getting downloaded so now my dmg file is downloaded and i have kept it on my desktop just to show you and it is here so i will just double click here and it will open the docker.dmg and i will just drag and drop it in the applications folder so it is like uh, you will install any program on mac os so that's all so now let me go to my applications folder and let me search for docker and you can see this docker.app let me double click here and open and you should see this docker icon at the top so now our docker is installed on the system you can also go to spotlight and search for docker and you will get options for docker on the spotlight as well and so now we are done with our very first step which is installing docker let us go to our second step and validate the installation by running some docker commands and before we do that let me just show you some options so if you go to this top uh, docker icon you can do a right click and you can find all these uh, information docker is running you can restart it from here you can go to about docker and it will give you the version of docker and then we have some other options like you can go to preferences and here you can have some settings for docker you can go to advanced and then you can adjust the computing resources how many cpus and memory is allocated so these are some very handy things that you can do and then we have this link for kitematic so if you click here it will open kitematic which is a ui for docker and it will take some time and here you can see you have these images that you can create and if you go to my images there are no local images also now if we go to our terminal and we say docker you are seeing that we are getting these options so that means docker is running we can also say docker images so as of now we have no images so if now I say docker version I am getting the version for docker and I can run the command docker info and I am getting the information about docker and now if I say docker run hello world it will not find the hello world image locally so it will get the image from docker hub so now you can see it says hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly and now if I go to kitematic and go to my images you can see hello world is here so now from kitematic 
I can click here and I will get all this information I can start or restart from here and all the other information and also if I want any other image for example I want to install Jenkins on docker I can either go to command line or directly from Kitematic I can say create and it will connect to docker hub and get the image for me it will download the image and then get Jenkins on our docker So now you can see uh, Jenkins image has been downloaded and it has been started. So you can see all these uh, logs here and then you can go to settings as well and you will find the container ID, the name and the environment and other details. So you can also go to your terminal and here you can say docker images and you can see we have Jenkins and hello world and for getting the containers you can say docker ps and you can see this is the Jenkins is running here and we can also see this is the port on which the Jenkins is running so let me see if I can get my Jenkins UI on my browser from, from this port yeah this is showing the Jenkins information and this should be running my Jenkins so yes you can see this is our Jenkins running I should also be able to get this through localhost and yes you can see on localhost 32769 port our Jenkins is running and this Jenkins is running on a docker container now you can change the port and you can also do a lot of other things uh, for example you can go to the settings or go to home and you can map a local volume through this settings button so if I click here I can change the folder so I can make a local folder map to this Jenkins and we can also stop it from here and now you can see if you go to my images we have both Jenkins and hello world so if I say docker ps you can see now nothing is running and docker images we have these two images still there right so this is how we can get started with docker and in case you have operating system which is less than OS Yosemite 10.10.3 then you will get this docker toolbox for installing docker let us also see how to do that I will click on docker toolbox and here is the download link for toolbox so with toolbox you will also get a virtual machine so you can go to toolbox overview here and it will give you all the details about the toolbox so we can go down and here we can get docker toolbox for Mac let us click here it will install docker toolbox package and you can also go to this link install docker toolbox on Mac OS so if you go to this link it will give you all the details step by step so you can first check your version and then you can install docker toolbox as shown in the pictures here and then it will install as any other program on Mac OS and then you can verify your installation by running docker so once your docker is installed through docker toolbox you can again run your docker commands as we have seen so I hope you can follow all the steps given on this page uh, I will also make these links available in the description of this video and in case you face any issues you can always drop a comment to me uh, I hope this will be very straightforward although with docker toolbox you might not get this wheel icon at the top so you will have to start docker manually but yes the commands and other things will be the same so this is how you can get start with docker toolbox and now let us see how do we remove or uninstall docker so if you go to the same link for docker toolbox at the end you have information on how to uninstall toolbox so again you can make sure that you have all your 
virtual machines and all your containers stopped and then you can remove the docker folders so for example from the applications folder you can remove all your docker and then let me go to my applications folder first and show you so first you again you have to stop docker so I am stopping docker from here you can go to quit docker in case you have installed through docker toolbox you can stop all the running machines and then from the applications folder you can delete docker and also if you have installed docker through docker toolbox you can also delete the virtual machine or the virtual box and kitematic separately and you can also remove the docker by running this command so you can say go to your terminal and say rm minus r and go to this dot, dot docker and it will remove the dot docker folder as well so this is how you can remove an uninstalled docker from your system i will provide all the useful links in the description of this video i hope this session was helpful in case you have any issues or comments please do write them down and please Give me your feedback if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel every subscription gives me great motivation to keep creating this useful content for you i will meet you in the next session thanks for watching